everyone. There's a lady behind me, and she probably thinks that I'm a total freak. Maybe up here. Maybe up here. Oh, there's so many people out and around. I thought it would be quiet, um, but it's not. Basically, you can probably tell by the uh, title of the video that today is the day that I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh dear. Today is the day that I'm gonna try the roller skates that I unboxed um, last week, I think. Um, so I have come to a car park. Um, it's pretty empty. It's sort of semi smooth or it's kind of as flat and as smooth as I can find that's quite close to my house don't really want to go too far away from the house because of the whole lockdown thing and yeah let's put them on the, there's gonna be like a headline tomorrow in the news and it's gonna be like crazy woman comes to car park talks to herself for 45 minutes tries out roller skating and ends in a &E. It's not really a headline, it's more of a description. Okay, so I've actually got the skates on. I have my wrist guards and I have some knee pads and they are the skates. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? I'm sure you guys are sitting there with great anticipation. I'm sitting here with great anticipation. I don't know what's gonna happen. So when I first tried these on in the shop, I didn't have any socks on and they felt really boxy and a little bit kind of baggy around my feet. Now that I've put a slightly thicker sock on, they're feeling um, a lot more like they fit me. Kind of more like my figure skates do so that's always a plus um so i guess i should really stand up and try them because that really is the only next thing to do let's go should we go let's go let's do it looking at me now right like what is she doing oh good um, i was worried that this wouldn't be good to practice in but if it's perfect that's good yeah i mean it's probably like not as smooth around here but it's still oh. good normally there's like no one here yeah but, um, oh how fun at least you've got some like protection yeah around. my mum made sure that i put those on so uh, don't let me put you off buying roller skates <laughs> okay oh, i just met a really nice lady who basically said that she wants to try roller skating she's a skateboarder and she's going around the um car park on her skateboard and she says that it's like really great in here because like it's quite smooth the but the bit that I'm skating on isn't smooth at all. So I feel like I picked the complete wrong end of the car park, but she says it's really smooth if you go kind of further down. Um, but she said that she wanted to buy roller skates and that was her next thing. And I was like, don't watch because I may put you off. Basically, the faster you go, the better because the slower you go, it's like trying to skate on super, super rough cut up ice that hasn't been cut for like a couple of hours and um basically like you just need to kind of power over the bumps and if you try and go really slow and cautiously then it doesn't really work so that's why i it's not working for me right now <laughs>
I was expecting myself to be a lot worse and I had a really, really good time. Um, I came home so happy and so excited that my other half, James, has decided to come with me and try some skates out too. The big burning question is, are they worth it and should you buy one? So these particular Rio roller skates are between 70 and 80 pounds, depending on where you buy them from. If you spend less than kind of a hundred pounds, you are going to be getting synthetic um, materials. It's the same in the ice skating world. It's the same in the roller skating world. So these skates are in fact synthetic and they are quite soft. They are not like figure skates and they're really not going to be like any kind of higher level figure skate or anybody that's over kind of bronze working on like a bronze silver gold level anything over that these are going to be very soft and very different so that is kind of number one if you're a high level figure skater and you are looking to get yourself a pair of kind of recreational fun skates just to get you through this period where the ice rink is closed please be aware that the ankles in these boots are fairly soft Another thing that this particular boot comes with is very stiff um, cushions, which are these kind of sweetie looking things in here. They kind of decide how much tilt your foot can have and how much um, kind of drive and steer the skate has. So in effect, inside and outside edges, how easy it is to make the skate do an inside or an outside edge. I didn't like how stiff the cushions were that came with the boots so I swapped them out for much softer ones since doing that I found it much easier to kind of turn and rotate um, just be aware that the cushions that come as standard with these rear rollers they are particularly solid they're not as sensitive and they're not as kind of turny turny that's a word for a beginner that's actually a really great place to start because it makes the skates a lot more stable as your skills come up you could potentially swap those out the lovely thing about these skates is you can literally just unbolt and change things and upgrade it if you want to it's not a case of a fixed uh, unit it's not all sealed in it's not all kind of um, glued or anything like that so you can literally just unscrew and replace so it's really lovely and easy I think in terms of the quality of the skate, it's all round really good. It's not really, really high end. And I did say that in my first video, I didn't want something really, really high end. I didn't really want to spend over a hundred pounds on something that I knew that I wasn't going to commit to for the rest of my life, the same way that I commit to my figure skating. But overall, I am really, really impressed. I've had a fantastic time using them. Very, very happy with the way that everything's turned out. I have very much enjoyed using them so far and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen by the end of lockdown. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be a much better roller skater than I was in the beginning going into everything. If you are thinking about buying yourself a pair of rear rollers then I think you should definitely go for it because it is a lot of fun. They come in some really really funky colours. You get to choose your colours, you get to personalise them and then you get to wear them and you can just have fun with it and it really is kind of filling that gap that ice skating has definitely left us for a moment but these are really helping to to kind of make that time pass by a little bit quicker they really are giving me something to look forward to and we know that we can pop our roller skates on come here and just have that kind of hours exercise that we were missing whilst the ice rinks were closed if you do end up buying yourself a pair of roller skates then please let us know we would absolutely love to see as i'm sure you already know everglides on instagram and everglides on facebook that's where you can find us and we would absolutely love to see your skating journeys yeah that's pretty well everything if you want to see more of our videos then you can obviously subscribe equally you can find any more information and contact details at everglides.co.uk